I, I do need something from you. I know, I do need this from you. Okay, I need... I need you to do what mommy did for me. Do you understand? Okay. Mommy, I know that she's in heaven. Okay? I think you're pretty certain, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I believe that you, you have to specifically ask for Jesus Christ. Oh, no, wait a minute. To specifically ask him to be your personal savior. Okay? It's not a all people get in, there's multiple ways into heaven. I don't want you believing any of that bullshit. Do you understand me? All right. Okay, listen to me. There's one way in. It's Jesus Christ. Right. He's hanging over your bed right now. He's right. been in our lives forever. He's blessed me. He's given me everything I have. He's given me the two kids, the $15 million, the health, the everything, the trips around the world, all of that. That's not me. You, you set me up for that? Okay. But he did that. Okay. Do you understand? All right. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's given you these 91 years, okay? He's given you these 91 years so that you can celebrate our lives. That my two kids, my wife, Nancy Ann, and all the people that she's touched with her life and all the joy that she's bring to all the people she, that have been come in and out of her life. And she's involved with my kids and she takes Rachel out and she's going to have Rachel be the beautiful, most beautiful teenager and she's going to teach her all that she needs to know about uh, about everything to be to be the kind of woman that she should be right right okay so she's got the opportunity and she has the opportunity to help me with joshua too and my wife still wants to have another kid so first thing is we don't want you to go early so just relax when the lord tells you it's your time up we understand we're not going to force you i'm not putting you on life support any of that kind of stuff but jesus christ is waiting for this decision and i don't know that you've made the decision well, the yeah. same the same way i have so they basically goes like this it says Heavenly Father, I just I trust that you sent your son to die on the cross for my sins. And it's only because you sent your son to die on the cross for my sins that I can be relieved of anything that I've done that's wrong and I can gain entrance into heaven and eternal life. Do you believe that? Yes. Okay. And I mean, I, I don't want you to just tell me that. Yeah. You, you do understand. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you understand that somebody that doesn't trust Jesus Christ doesn't get in. Okay? Okay. And um, I know where there's a generation gap here. I mean, I know you're born in 1929, and I was born in 1969, right? So it's a little different, our faith, right? You went to a different kind of church than I go to. But it's the same Jesus. All right. Okay? And so I just want to know that you trust him. Yeah, I do. And that, okay? And that you're not getting in because of what you did good here. You're getting in because you trusted him. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Now, all the good stuff you did counts. Okay, that's your neighborhood in heaven, right? So, he says there's an accounting for all the things that you do. That's after you understand that he is the saving way. You don't earn Jesus Christ. That's a gift. You got that. Okay. Now, everything you've done, that's credited to you. So you're going to have this beautiful neighborhood in heaven now. It's like, you did good. You raised two good kids. You, you, didn't, you didn't drink. You didn't use any drugs. You treated us right. You stayed married for 50-some years. You, you married a good woman that was a fantastic mother to us, a fantastic wife to you, right? Right. And you raised two great kids, and we're, we're, we're so thankful for you. We're so thankful for you. We're so thankful that you just said that prayer. And you mean it, right? You don't have any questions. No questions. Okay, so this means you can rest comfortably now because you're going to wake up either here, right here in this bed, in this room. That's where we're going to leave you, in this place. We're not going to put you in some assisted living unless you tell us otherwise. You might not wake up here. You're going to wake up in front of Jesus. Right. And this he's going to walk. Dr. Cologne's office. He's going to... He's going to welcome you. I'm going to Okay? You want to talk to Robert? Excuse me. No, I want to finish this. Okay? So you want to take the call, tell her I'll call her back. Um, Hello? But you're going to get credited for all these good things that you did. And uh, yeah. he's, he's going to reward that. Uh, 
but you understand, like, we don't earn our way into heaven at all. So that's what I wanted, that's what I was scared about with you this whole time. I thought you thought you could work your way into heaven, Dad. That's not the Christian way. We don't work our way in. You get the free gift, and then he says, okay, now show me what you did with that. And you've done good, and it's going to be fine. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. So, Father, we just thank you right now for my dad. <laughs> that you would give me this just amazing comfort to know that he does trust you. He knows that you're the only way, Jesus, uh, into this life. Uh, you're the way, the truth, and the life. And my father, has just he's just professed his belief. But I pray that you would just come beside him right now. Give him the sense of comfort for how much longer you'd like him to stay here. Lord, let him rest in peace right now. If there's anything that he needs to tell us before he comes to meet you, Lord, I just pray that you would let that happen. Uh, let it go be on your timing, Lord. If there's anything I'm supposed to do or say, of course, let me know. Let my sister know. And mainly let my father know if there's any message that he's supposed to deliver to us. If he has any questions, uh, feel free to let... I know you'll provide the answer to them, and you're, you've got an open communication now. Uh, you've confirmed that, Lord. So just please be with me. Uh, be with my father. Be with my sister as we go through this time. And we honor you, Lord. Okay a life that's just been so well lived. We love you and we thank you. And we pray in your holy, precious name. Amen? Amen. Amen. How about that? So, you need to rest comfortably and know that, you know, you're going to, okay. for sure, you're going to wake up there. Okay. Huh? You're going to wake up in heaven? Yeah. Um, okay. So, okay. you don't have to worry. Thank you, Jesus.